Blessings, beautiful souls. In this video, you're going to learn a powerful process for how to connect with your spirit guides. This is the method and technique that I am using in my own spiritual practice to commune and connect with my spirit guides for knowledge, wisdom, insight, and of course, their awesome frequency and energetic support. So to begin, I've broken this process down into seven steps that I'm going to share with you now. And then after that, I will invite you to join me as I guide you through these steps to connect with your spirit guide right here and right now. So to begin, the first step is to find a quiet, comfortable, safe place where you can close your eyes and go within. This is actually really important. It seems simple, but it's going to make such a big difference if you know you're not going to be disturbed. So tell people in your house, shut your door, turn off your phone, and carve out this sacred time for you to commune with spirit. Step number two, Take some time to consciously breathe and relax and allow your awareness to shift from being focused on the external world around you to move in to being aware of your inner world. Breathing, relaxing, calling in light and beginning to attune your awareness to the higher subtle energies of spirit within is going to help you immensely in connecting with your spirit guide. So this is important because spirit guides are of course in spirit, in the subtle energy realm. And so receiving their wisdom, messages, and insight is much different than watching a YouTube video or talking to someone on the phone or talking to a friend in person. It requires going within, lifting your awareness, expanding, opening, and allowing your subtle sense perception to turn on. So taking the time to meditate, relax, and raise your vibration is going to help empower this process. I have a free guided angel meditation for you that's perfect for this to set the stage, clear your energy, open your gateway to connect with spirit, and you can get that for free at angelsession.com. The third step to now prepare to do the actual connect with your spirit guide practice I'm going to share with you is to consciously call forth and invoke your spirit guides. Call in your team in spirit, remembering that your spirit guides, the angels, archangels, and ascended masters, any highly evolved spiritual beings of light who are worthwhile in connecting with honor your free will, and will rarely intervene in your life without your explicit permission and clear intention to empower that connection. So there are many different ways to invoke your spirit guides. I've published a number of invocations here on this channel, but essentially it's about just quieting your mind, focusing your awareness on your heart, allowing your heart to open, and sincerely from your heart, requesting to connect. I now call in and forth my team of spirit guides of the middle path of the highest, most benevolent light. Connect with me now directly. Help me to experience your love, frequency, wisdom, and guidance according to divine will for my benefit and in the highest interest of all. And so it is. Now, once you have invoked your spirit guides, step number four is to do the actual practice for how to connect with your spirit guides. And I am calling this a practice deliberately because to perceive the guidance, wisdom, and insight of your spirit guides who are spiritual beings existing in the higher subtle realms of light, frequency, and energy it takes attuning your awareness to that higher place. It takes opening your subtle sense organs of spiritual perception, these energetic centers within your multidimensional being that allow you to receive the guidance from spirit. 
So for some of you who already have these energy centers open, this practice is right away going to work for you. But if it doesn't, if you struggle with it or you don't feel like you're really connecting with your spirit guide, I would invite you to practice it. Return to this process. Practice moving your awareness in the way that I'm going to share with you to become receptive to the guidance from your spirit guides from your team in spirit. And so the practice for how to connect with your spirit guide that I'm going to guide you through here in just a moment involves essentially opening three key energy centers within your physical body, your Hara energy center, just below your navel, your heart chakra at the center of your chest, and your pineal gland or third eye chakra in the center of your brain, your mind's eye. So we're going to move from awareness, from the hara, to the heart, to the pineal, opening and expanding, entering in, tuning into the subtle light of energy, of spirit, and then lifting with awareness. So you're going to stay in your body, but then move your awareness up through the crown chakra at the top of your head, up the central pillar of light above your head, up about three feet above your head to commune with your guardian angel in the energy center about three feet above your head where your guardian angel resides and then moving up even higher about 10 feet above the top of your head to connect with your higher self to connect with your spirit guides moving up even higher than above your head in the central pillar of light to unite with source God, the divine, all that is, to expand in this consciousness above your head, to bask in the light and frequency and presence, and then moving your awareness back down about 10 feet above your head, breathing, being present in your body with your awareness way up the central pillar of light above your head. And then this brings us to the fifth step for how to connect with your spirit guide is to now allow. Allow yourself the time and space and presence to simply be in this space of stillness, of expanded consciousness, of light, knowing that you've invited your spirit guides to connect with you. You've lifted your awareness into the subtle spiritual realms and now not trying to make anything happen, letting go of any expectation. Just breathe, relax, and allow the messages, the frequency, the transmission, the light your team and spirit has to reveal to you. You can here ask a question or ask for a specific guide or archangel or ascended master that you'd like to connect with, but know that doing so pulls your consciousness and awareness back into the state of the ordinary mind, ordinary consciousness. And to profoundly commune with spirit, we're accessing a higher state of consciousness, of expanded awareness. So for best results at first, don't try to control this too much. Just relax, open, and allow the connection with your spirit guides to unfold. When you feel complete, step number six is to then finish with gratitude. Allow your awareness to move back down into the center of your heart. You can bring your hands to your heart in prayer, place them over your heart, and just take a moment to give thanks for your team and spirit for showing up for you today. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your guidance, support, wisdom, frequency, and love. Continue to guide me in my day-to-day -day life. Help me to become more and more aware of your guidance, support, and presence. Thank you. And so it is. And then finally, the seventh and an important final step is to continue to stay aware as you move back into your normal life, to pay attention to your dreams, your inspirations, your impulses to action as your spirit guides will continue to connect with you once you have set this intention and opened the link. 
So that is the practice for how to connect with your spirit guide. And now I would like to invite you to join me in experiencing this now. So go ahead and find a comfortable seated position, close your eyes, and bring your awareness to your breath. Breathing into your lower abdomen, allowing your belly to fill with light. And when you exhale, the belly moves back and the light circulates through your body. Breathe into the lower abdomen, exhale, relax. Breathe into the lower abdomen, tuning into an orb of golden light within this Hara energy center. Exhale and let the light circulate through your entire being. Breathe into the lower abdomen, exhale, release. Breathe in, expand, exhale, circulate. Continue with this breath, breathing into the lower abdomen, allowing the belly to fill with light. And as you exhale, the belly moves back and the light circulates. And now as you continue breathing consciously, deliberately with this breath of light, allow your awareness to move up into your heart chakra at the center of your chest becoming aware of the presence of warmth, light, love within your heart center. Allow yourself to relax, allow your heart to open, your awareness to expand, your energy to lift. Now up from the heart into the center of your brain, tuning into the point of light at the center of your brain, your pineal gland, allowing your awareness to enter in, your energy to lift, your perception of the subtle spiritual realms to open. Breathe a few more breaths, just allowing Awareness of your open Hara energy center, your open heart, your open third eye. Now allow your awareness to lift further, up from your third eye, up through the crown chakra at the top of your head, up in a central pillar of light above your head. If you're in a room, become aware of the space between the top of your head and the ceiling above you, the central pillar of light, opening the gateway for you to connect with your spirit guides opening you to the stream of light, of life force, of love from spirit. Allow your awareness to move up about three feet above the top of your head until you find a natural place to rest your awareness. This energy center where your soul wisdom resides, where your guardian angel is present, loving you, blessing you, serving you. Receive this blessing. Breathing into this center about three feet above the top of your head. Exhaling and expanding. Breathe into the center about three feet above your head. And now as you exhale, allow your awareness to continue to lift. 
up this central pillar. Now about 10 feet above your head, finding another natural place, about 10 feet above your head, where you can rest your awareness, attuning your awareness to the presence of your higher self, here for you now. The presence of your team of spirit guides, who have showed up for you today. Just allow. Allow your awareness to now lift even higher up the central pillar of light above your head to unite at the highest most point your consciousness can extend above your head uniting with the light of source, of God, of all that is, the supreme consciousness, pouring blessings upon you, supporting you in attuning your energy to the spiritual realm. Breathe in the light way above your head, And as you exhale, exhale through your heart center. You're present in your physical body, fully here, and yet aware of the higher light of source above your head. And about 10 feet above your head once again, move your awareness there into this space where your higher self, higher selves, reside, where your spiritual guides, your team and spirit step forward for you now. Breathe, relax, let go of trying to make anything happen and just expand to connect with your spirit guide now on an energetic level on the level of light, subtle energy, and love. Receiving from your spirit guide the blessings available to you now. A moment of expanded perception wisdom, and light. You can very gently now pause this video, if you would like, to continue to just linger in this space, allowing whatever your spirit guides have to reveal to you to emerge. Just allow. And now aware of this expanded light, presence that you have connected with, Allow the blessings, the light, the frequency to move down along the central column in through the crown chakra at the top of your head, in through your mind's eye, your throat, your heart, your solar plexus, sacral, and root, anchoring the blessings of spirit into your physical body, into this present time, Taking a deep breath from the bottom of your spine all the way to the top of your head and hold your breath for a moment in the crown center. Relax. 
moving your awareness back to your heart, becoming aware of the sensation of the air on your skin, the presence of the room around, any sounds you notice around you. Very gently move your fingers and toes and now bring your hands to your heart taking a moment of gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my team of spirit guides, guardian angels, archangels, ascended masters, thank you. Thank you for showing up for me. Thank you for guiding me. Thank you for supporting me in every area of my life. Help me to become more and more attuned to your guidance. Give me the ears to hear and eyes to see, the insight to know and understand the guidance you have for me so I may thrive in my life, be of service at a higher level, align with my true soul purpose, dharma, reason for being here. I thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. Thank yourself for taking the time to engage with this practice. And now very gently open your eyes, returning to this present point in time. You now may want to take a moment to get out a journal, write down any impressions or insights or experiences you had remembering that this is a practice. So there's the potential for your experience to deepen and develop as you continue to work with this process for connecting with your spirit guide. But even just with this one point of connection today, a link has been made. And so now as you move on from this video into your day-to-day -day life, I invite you to do so with a little more awareness, a little more presence, being aware of the thoughts in your mind to begin to discern and decipher the origin of thought from you or an impulse of thought from your spirit guides. Be aware, allow, and enjoy. I hope this is helpful for you Again, for a guided meditation to really help you raise your vibration and get into an elevated state to then guide yourself through this practice, check out angelsession.com. I love, honor, and appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.